So Baro Katir is here. It is July 14th and he is at the Mercury Relay and we're going to take a look at what he has, which this is brand spanking new. The first time Baro has this It is the Scoria Datum right here. Look on this. We can take a look. It's, uh, it's a cool little, I guess, headpiece for your operator. I don't know what we call these, but it looks pretty cool. It's actually got some nice detail. This is the first time we're looking at it, actually. You can kind of see it. it Got like cracks and it's like an actual gem. I like that. I like that a lot. It looks really nice. That is going for 300,000 credits and 550 ducats. We also have Primed Reach. This is an absolute must. And if you guys are looking to make platinum, I uh, don't recommend doing it on any especially primed mods because people seem to undervalue the crap out of these, especially for it costing 300 ducats and 220 thousand credits like people are gonna want this for like 50 plat and that's just not enough really to kind of equate to the value is it gonna be easy to sell it's gonna be really easy to sell but it's also gonna be like kind of just throwing it away to make a little bit of plat but it's really up to you if uh you have if you don't have tons and tons of extra endo to throw away definitely don't put endo in this whether you know like you don't care that you're going to throw this away or not um, for the platinum, but ultimately you could. It would be easy to sell. We also have the left Prisma Daedalus and the right Prisma Daedalus shoulder guards. You guys can see these right here. These are 65 ducats and 75,000 credits. They are pris usually the Prisma stuff he has kind of had. I, I can see. I don't know if you guys can see it really well, but there's like energy that's moving in here at like the top of these. It looks cool, and these do look nice on some Warframes, so if you're into cosmetics or you want to pick it up, go for it. We also have the Prisma Daedalus chest plate, which you can see right here, 100,000 credits, 150 ducats. This also has the moving energy. This does look good, uh, especially if you have, like, an Ash uh, Batman skin. The, I forget what the skin's called, but some of you know, know what I'm talking about. There's a skin for Ash you can give him that makes him look like Batman. And this kind of looks like the bat symbol almost in a way. So that could look really good on him. But we also have the Prisma Daedalus knee plates. These are 65 ducats and 75,000 credits. And here it is. It's kind of just like the shoulder plates with the moving energy and everything. So you can see it here on the on the legs. And we also have the Maradetron. If you don't have this, get it because it is mastery rank. This is 500 ducats and 200,000 credits. So definitely say get that. The Groostrag 3 beacon. This is going to be an easy way for you to spawn the Groostrag 3 if you need any drops from them. And it is a gambling ticket because there's no guarantee that whatever drops you need from them, they're going to drop. But it is here, so if any of you have, like, loads of extra ducats and you're not planning on sp uh, saving them for the Baro Katir, then you can grab this. This is 200 ducats and 125,000 credits. Speaking of Baro Katir, for a limited time, any of you that become Patreon at any level will get access to this Baro Katir spreadsheet that I've got right here. I'll go over it really quickly, but it tells you the total amount of ducats that we need, total amount of credits for everything that he has, but then for this lower half here, minus owned, minus owned for these two, you can start clicking off things that you already have and it reduces the overall price. This is fantastic because it actually makes it so that you know exactly how many ducats you need and exactly how many credits you need so you don't have to spend all this extra time farming or like overstock and just blow all this time away. And you'll know exactly how much you need, or you can even click off the things that you want, reduce it from the total price, you know, like do a little bit of math here, and you'll be able to figure out by clicking all the things that you still need exactly how many ducats you need, or exactly how many credits you'd need for when Baro Katir shows up. But ultimately, that's super convenient, and it's available for any Patreon of mine. Just tell me in the Discord when you become a Patreon, and I will get that to you. So we have the Baro Katir Tribute Glyph. This is for 80 ducats and 50,000 credits. We have the Katir Earpiece here for 500 ducats and 400,000 credits. The earpiece, you can kind of see it looks like a little Baro symbol here. These look good. I rock his, his Sakura a lot. 
It has that little emblem on it, but it's more so for like a shoulder sigil kind of thing. I don't know, you'll probably see it on my Warframes all the time. Hydroid Immortal Skin for 550 ducats and 100,000 100, credits. Katir Cyandana for 500 ducats and 500,000 credits. The Cyandana looks like this. And it is not glossy. Like when you actually get it, it's just the ephemera that I always have on. Which, I know you guys ask about this. This ephemera is from the Gara Prime accessories. So when she comes back around in Prime Resurgence, we'll probably be able to pick that up again. Unless it comes back sooner, which would be awesome. Sonicore Exilus Skin. This is just the skin, it's not the actual weapon, so you're not getting mastery rank out of this, but it is 380 ducats and 175,000 credits. The Lisette Cydonia Skin. This is just a skin for the Lisette. It is 400 ducats and 300,000 credits. And it kind of looks like that, which you can make look pretty cool. It has a very Anaros-y look, which I feel like is on purpose. Probably modeled after Anaros, but moving on, we have split flights for the bow. This is 300 ducats and 200,000 credits, and it says on hit, plus 100% multi-shot, minus 100% accuracy for two seconds, stacked up to four times, non-AOE bows. I do believe this is useful, so if you have the extra ducats, do pick this up. We have the Parazon poster for 100 ducats and 125,000 credits. We have Primed Cleanse of Corrupted, which is plus 55 damage to Corrupted, so it's basically like a Bane mod. This is for shotguns, and it is 350 ducats, 140,000 credits. Uh, this can be useful, but if you're using shotguns a lot, this can be, and you're into swapping out, like, the Bane mods, you're into swapping that all the time, this can be very useful. I suppose if you know that you, that's your playstyle at this point, and you already know you're going to get this. If you're not sure if that's your playstyle, it's probably not. And it's not vital. You don't super duper need it. This can be helpful if you have extra ducats and everything. But for the most part, I wouldn't stress on, you know, like blowing your ducats or, or credits on this one today. More so, I would say definitely get the Master Rank if you don't have this already. Definitely get Prime Reach if you don't have it. This is the number one thing to get if you don't have it already. Is Prime to Reach uh, so far with what Borrow has. Uh, next we have Deimos, another Prex card, 75 ducats and 100,000 credits. We have the Holocar Wraith, which is a Master Rank worthy, so you can definitely get this too. This is 450 ducats, 350,000 credits. It is tradable, as it says right there, and the Meridetron is also tradable. So as far as these two, uh, and you know, like, can you get them and to trade them? You can. Trade Chat's been a little weird lately. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to take you to sell these, but if anything, Prime Reach would definitely sell, even though it's probably not worth the investment. And uh, the Meridetron and the Holocar Wraith would sell, but they, I, I haven't seen them in a long time in trade chat, to be honest. We have the Katir Moa Pet skin, which is 500 ducats, 325,000 credits. We have the Danas Pistol skin, which is 400 ducats, 300,000 credits. The Noggle Statue for the new War Vesso R, which is 75 ducats, 300,000 credits. The Telamon Dance of Death, which is 125 ducats, 100,000 credits. You can see it right here. It's like a sculpture statue kind of thing. Looks pretty cool. Makes a nice decoration for your ship if you have the extra ducats. And we have Fae Path Ephemera, as per usual. Sands of Anaros Blueprint. So this is where you're going to get your... This is the quest for Anaros if you don't have an Anaros already. If you do already have an Anaros and you show up to him as Baro Katir... Uh, you show up to Baro Katir as Anaros, you're going to get the Baro Void Signal for 100 ducats, 25,000 credits. This is for extra cosmetics. You can get this up to five times. And you should run this with teammates that also have it. So you don't have to buy it five times yourself. Because you can go in with them, and you can also reap the rewards that way. But every time you do this, up to five times, you'll get a different reward. Well, I should say every time you complete it, you'll get a different reward. And then finally, we have an Odonata Exilus skin for 350 ducats and 250,000 credits. That wraps up what Borrow has today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, any of you that become a Patreon, let me know in the Discord, and I'll get you that Borrow Katir uh prep sheet for when he winds up showing up at tenocon but i will see you guys in the next one